in a makeshift hospital. 26-year-old Nederana Jacqueline waits patiently on her daughter. Her and her family fled political violence in Burundi for the safety of Tanzania. Their journey took hours. On the way, three-year-old Teletika got sick. More than 60,000 Burundians have sought refuge in Tanzania. Initially, they arrive on the shores of Lake Tanganyika. UNHCR has been ferrying them to Kigoma, where there's shelter, medicine, and clean water. But the two ships working around the clock can only transport 1,500 refugees a day. Tens of thousands remain in Kayunga, a serious concern for aid agencies. Refugees are in an isolated village in the shore that is not accessible by land, literally, and the only way to access it is by ship. It makes it a very desperate situation. At Kigoma Stadium, doctors are providing the refugees with much-needed care. More than 100,000 refugees have fled Burundi to neighboring countries since the end of April. The rush is on for UNHCR and its partners to provide support for the thousands of refugees who are here and the thousands who are expected to come.